So what five actions can you take on a Sunday that will get you ready for the week ahead and also improve your finances? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, The Bulletproof Life. My name is Rokio Demomi and I'm delighted to have you here. I hope you have had a wonderful weekend and you are getting ready to have a great week. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five actions you can take on a Sunday to improve your finances. Maybe that's why I'm here in my Sunday dress. I hope you love it. But today that's what I'm going to be talking to you about. Five actions, easy, straightforward actions that you can take on a Sunday to get you ready for Monday and to improve your finances. But before we go right into that, can I ask you to please press the like button on this video because I promise you you're going to love it. You're going to enjoy this video as usual. If you have not subscribed to my channel, Please do it by pressing the red button on your right. Don't forget to press the bell so you can get notifications every time I share a new video, which is every Monday. I mean, the information on this channel is free. It's YouTube. It's free. You can get it. You can access it. You can use it. You can take notes. So why are you not subscribed? Get the best of my channel by subscribing so that you can get all the good news the moment it lands. Thank you for subscribing and for pressing the like button. So let's get right into today's topic. So what five actions can you take on a Sunday that will get you ready for the week ahead and also improve your finances? The first action is bill payment or bill scheduling. You need to sit down on a Sunday and schedule your bills. What bills are due this week? That means logging into your bank account to check how much you have there what bills are ready to be paid, what bills need to be paid. That's if those bills are not already on direct debit. If they're on direct debit, it's a good time to check in on them to see if they're going to go out this week and what day they're going to go out. If these bills are not on direct debit, then Sunday is a great time for you to sit down and pay them one by one and they're sorted. If you are buying your transport ticket for the week, Sunday is a great time to sit down and sort out that particular bill, buy your transport ticket for the week, your train ticket for the week. You know, Sunday is a great day for you to pay your bills and to schedule your bills. It gives you a great view of what's ahead of you financially during the week so that when the bills are being paid or they're coming out of your account during the week, you are not worried about them. This is also a good time for you to make additional credit card payments. So I always suggest to people to have direct debits for credit cards. The minimum payment, £5, £10, the minimum that's required on your credit card, put it on direct debit so that no matter what happens, you are not missing a payment. But on a Sunday afternoon, you can sit down, log into your bank account, see how much you have, see what extras you have because, you know, last week has been a good week. You haven't spent as much as you thought you were going to spend. And so you have some extra for this week. So that's a good time for you to then move that extra into your credit card as an additional payment because the idea is for you to pay off this credit card debt as soon as you can. So the first action you should be taking on this Sunday is bill payment or bill scheduling. The second action you should be taking on a Sunday to make the week easier for you and to help your finances is restocking. Restocking your pantry, restocking your kitchen, restocking for the week. So this is a good time for you to sit down and meal plan. Plan the meal for the week ahead. What are you planning to feed your family? What are you planning to eat? What are you planning to have in your fridge this week? Once you've done your meal plan, then you can review your pantry or your kitchen to see what's missing. I always suggest that people do a monthly grocery shop or at least a bi-monthly you know, grocery shop every two weeks. And I've got a video on my channel that talks about how to reduce your grocery bills every month. But I've got two videos that talk about how to reduce grocery bills. So please check out those videos if you haven't watched them. And if you watch them, you can watch them again, you know, just to refresh your memory of what I shared in those videos. So once you've done your meal plan and you've you've seen what you need and what you don't need or what's the gap in your kitchen then you can go into your pantry see what's outstanding see what's run out and then you can dash to the store on a sunday afternoon and do a restock of your kitchen in the uk stores close at 4 p.m so a lot of um, grocery shops will close at 4 p.m on a sunday so you want to get in before 4 p.m so that you can do that restocking and your kitchen or your home or your pantry is ready for the week and you're not on a wednesday looking at the fridge and thinking oh we need milk 
oh, we need bread. No, those are the kind of things you are restocking on a Sunday. So for me, Sunday is a great day to get milk, to get bread, and to get fruits for the week so that the kids can have fruits to take to school. And I can also hit my five a day, you know, to stay healthy on fruits. So the second thing you need to be doing on a Sunday is restocking your kitchen or your pantry. The third thing you need to be doing on a Sunday is meal prepping. Yes, meal prepping. So now you've restocked your kitchen, you've restocked your pantry. You know what you are eating during the week because you've done your meal planning. It's time for you to do your meal prep. So everything that you are eating during the week, you're going to look at it and see what you can prep ahead. You know, what you can cook ahead so that during the week, you're just fishing them out of the fridge and putting them into the microwave and heating them up. So meal prep is a great thing to do on Sunday. On Sunday is when I cook my famous jollof rice. You know, I prep that, cook it dish it out into bowls. I have this um, glass Tupperware that I use in my fridge and they are microwave safe, they are dishwasher safe. So I love them and I'll drop a link in, in the description if you would like to try them out. And so I dish my jollof rice into those bowls and save them in the fridge and I'm sorted for the week in that aspect. I also like to boil some white rice and put that away as well. So that's how I meal prep. I cut up fruits for my children for Monday and Tuesday so that those are the two days when they just go to school with a pack of fruit and I don't have to cut it up on Monday and then on Tuesday night I can do the rest. So that's something you need to do on a Sunday is meal prepping. The beauty of meal prepping is that it prevents you from constantly cooking and constantly cooking during the week and raising your electric and gas bills because you do it in one big big bulk cooking and it's out of the way. It also saves you time because the amount of time you're going to spend cooking one cup of rice is the amount of time you're going to spend cooking three. So you can as well boil your rice ahead. You can cook your jollof rice ahead. You can use your slow cooker on a Sunday to do some meat and you have that to eat during the week. I also like to do um, a whole pan of grilled chicken. In the old days, in the old days, I would grill my chicken in my oven. But now I've discovered the beauty of the air fryer. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have an air fryer, you're missing out on the magic of the 21st century. You're missing out on the next best thing since microwave ovens. When I was going to get my air fryer, I wasn't sure which one to get, you know, which one is best, you know. And then one of my friends gave me a fantastic one from Amazon, and I'm also going to drop a link to that in the description section. It's a Kosori, and it's a fantastic air fryer. It doesn't have lots of little bits and pieces for you to clean. It's got just two bits to, for you to clean. It does everything. I do chicken, fish. I even do cookies in my air fryer. So on Sunday, part of my meal prep is chicken. I grill chicken in my air fryer. I do cookies for my children in the air fryer and I pack it away in Ziploc bags so they have that as an additional snack to take to school. So meal prep is something you want to add to your Sunday activity because one, it will save you money. Two, it will um, help you have a more efficient, less tired week. So that's the third thing you want to do on the Sunday to help you have a great week and to improve your finances. The next thing you want to do on a Sunday to help your week is diary scheduling. You need to sit down on a Sunday and plan your week ahead. I've got a video where I talked about using the to-do list and how to plan your week ahead. I've also got a video where I talked about how to get things done when you don't feel like it. These are videos you need to watch. And one of the things I said in the video about getting things done when you don't feel like it is planning, planning ahead. And so on Sunday, you need to sit down and plan your diary. Who has activities during the week? Who's dropping who off for football, dance, gymnastics? What meetings do I have? What do I need to do during the week? What programs do I need to attend? Sunday is when you familiarize yourself with your diary. You update it. You become familiar with it so that you are thinking ahead. Okay, on Wednesday, I have three things. On Wednesday, I need to be here at 6 p.m. On Tuesday, I need to do that at 5 p.m. So I need to get something ready during the day on Tuesday. You know, you plan your diary. Sit down on Sunday and plan your diary. Now, if you are somebody who uses a diary on your phone, you can set alarms and set reminders. But if you are somebody who uses a book diary, and I totally believe in a book diary, I've got a to-do list book, which I um, created specially for you and have on Amazon. It's the Bulletproof Life Planner. So you can Google that. But at the same time, again, there's a link in my description to that. And it's a planner that allows you to plan your day and your whole week. You can use that to plan your week ahead. You see it, put some 
post-it notes inside there use markers to highlight things that absolutely need to get done you know sunday is a great day to sit down and just plan your diary that's what i do on sunday i look through my diary i do my scheduling i get on top of the week ahead so that on monday morning i'm not panicked i don't have that under the bottom of my belly kind of panic like what do i need to do what do i need to do oh what's happening what's happening i don't hate mondays i'm one person that has finally stopped hating mondays and these are the things that helped me stop hating mondays i used to dread mondays i used to go to bed on sunday night like a little bit sad because you know oh gosh monday is coming you know and something i also do as part of diary scheduling is to check my email so on a Sunday afternoon, I clear out my inbox so that there is no pending email on a Monday for me to look at. So even if I don't action those emails on a Sunday and I don't action them, I read them and then take them back to mark as unread. So I read the emails and then flag them as unread as if I've not read them, but I've read them. On Sunday night, I've read all my emails and that includes my work emails if there's any, to see if there are any surprises, if there's anything that needs to be done urgently on Monday morning, or if there's anything that doesn't need to be done urgently on Monday morning. What all of that does is that it frees up the first few hours of Monday for me, so I'm not panicking. So that's the next thing you need to do. You need to schedule your diary. Now, the beauty of scheduling your diary with regards to your finances is that it allows you to know if there are any financial actions you need to take, if there are any payments, if there are any um, submissions you need to make, if the money in your account is adequate for something, if you need to be filling out your remortgage forms, if you need to be sorting out something with your credit card, if you need to be transferring from one zero percent credit card to another zero percent credit card because that one is about to end. You know, those are actions that diary scheduling will help you not to miss and help you set the right reminders so that you are on top of it and you are not ending up with letters of missed payments or letters of missed deadlines that are going to cost you money. If there's a parking ticket that needs to be paid, again, you payment, sort that out on a Sunday afternoon so you're not getting a letter saying now that you've missed the payment, you're going to be paying double. The last thing you need to do on a Sunday to make your Monday and your whole week easier and more financially bulletproof is for you to review your budget. A budget you made at the end of the month, at the end of October, for the whole of November, it's time to review it. It's time to look at it, make adjustments, you know, increase what you've budgeted for some things and reduce what you've budgeted for some things. You know, at the beginning of the month, your view is different from the view you have now that a month has progressed by a week or two. So Sunday night is when I review my budget. I'm looking at that budget and I'm asking myself, what is still valid? What is no longer valid? What do I need to add? What do I need to take out? You know, am I on track? Have I fallen off the rails? Do I need to make adjustments? Um, reviewing your budget also allows you to stay on, on track. It helps you to stay on track because you see what you are working towards. You see your goals. You see what's got, gone out and what hasn't gone out. Reviewing my budget also gives me peace of mind because I can see that, okay, I've stayed on track. Okay, this bill is paid, this bill is paid, direct debit has gone, direct debit has gone. Okay, this is the only thing left. I've just got this Netflix payment to go and that's it. I'm done for the month. You know, and I've saved, I've invested, I've paid this credit card, I've paid that loan. Okay, this is sorted, that is sorted. I'm ready to go to next month. I'm in line with my budget. I don't need to make any adjustments. Or maybe, oh yes, I need to make an adjustment. I didn't spend this money. I thought I was going to go for this event. I didn't go, which means I saved on fuel, I saved on transport, I saved on the ticket. So all of that money I can now push into my savings or I can push to pay off a particular credit card, you know, things like that. Those are the kind of actions that you take when you review a budget and I always suggest that you do it on a Sunday night. So this particular video, I've decided to make it short and sharp. It's more like I came here to show you my dress. I hope you like it. It's my Sunday outfit. So it's, we're talking about Sunday, so I figured I'd come in and show you something pretty. And you know, if you like it, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to come back with more Sunday dresses for you guys. You know, come back and do a video on the Sunday afternoon just so I can show you what I wore to church today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it by pressing the red button on your right. Remember, it's free to access my channel. It's free to get all the information, the tips, the acts that I share here to help you build wealth and build a financially bulletproof life. You're doing yourself a favor by subscribing. You're also encouraging me by subscribing because it takes time for me to produce, to edit, you know, and to push out these videos for you. If you haven't pressed like on this video, please smash, smash. Smash the like button so that YouTube can share this video with other people like you. You can reach me on other social media accounts like Instagram, Rokyo Demumi, Facebook, Rokyo Demumi page, 
Twitter, Rukio Devumi, email, Rukio Devumi at gmail.com. I've got a blog that's gone live where I share a lot of amazing information as well, and it's RukioDevumi.com. So if you decide you want to read something instead of watching a video, which is absolutely fine, you can check out my blog, RukioDevumi.com, and enjoy yourself. There's information there as well, and lots of links for you to click and go to amazing places. Until my next video, you take care of yourself and keep living that bulletproof life. Bye-bye.